Hello friends, this is Sonam. Today in this video, we will discuss about how to convert an Excel file to PDF using Power Automate. Let's start this uh, tutorial. So this uh, tutorial will cover only how to uh, create a PDF file using Excel. So this tutorial will guide you how to create a PDF file from an Excel using Power Automated Flow. Let's see how to use this. Uh, before that first we will see how the when we will create our uh, PDF it will uh, how it look like so basically our flow is will be uh, look like this let's uh, when the user insert any excel file it will automatically convert it to a PDF format and saved in our desired SharePoint library so work with this uh, scenario let's start so here i just log in my office 365 user id with my user id so next go to that app launcher and here we can find out our uh, all the apps so as we are going to create our flow so next uh, open that uh, click on that power automate application then open a new tab so it will open a new tab and also to for for the file uh, we have created a uh, document library in Sharep in our SharePoint environment. So in my uh, I have created a say, document library. Within the document library, I have created a uh, folder named files. So okay. Uh, so here, when the whenever the users uh, send, uh, insert their Excel file, it will automatically convert it to a PDF uh, and store in this uh, stored. Uh, in this uh, document library so let's start with that uh, and and all this process will go in behind a power automation process so let's start so go to, uh, in power automate environment go to create then click on automated cloud flow here we will give a uh, flow name so let's give convert excel into pdf that's it and then uh, for triggering uh, we will select our trigger when a file is created this one when a file is created uh, uh, in SharePoint connectors click on the create uh, then here we will insert the mandatory field like uh, in site address so select our site address library name so the library name is file storage under that uh, the files is the file name so in file storage and the folders name so click on this icon under the file storage we will find the files yeah this one files now trigger is ready then next we will add the action uh, so once the file is created the action the next action will get that uh, content file content so for this uh, here we will search get file content in SAP, under the SharePoint connector so similarly here also we have to give our site address and the file identifier so for the file identifier should be the uh, dynamic from the dynamic content once the action will get the file content next we will create the um, file in the sec in our secondary storage uh, so the secondary storage is our basically the one drive location because the one drive logo one drive connector provides the free action without any cost they provide the action uh, where we can convert the any file uh, to pdf format so uh, next choose and uh, for the secondary storage uh, in under the one drive under the one drive we will add the action named create file this one so here we will give our the folder path and file name and the file content the mandatory field so folder path here we will insert the slash because it is you know it is specified to the root folder file name with the extension and the get file from the file content from the get file content here we are using the get file content from the we are using the file content dynamic uh, dynamic content from the get file content action from this action next once the, uh, the once the file is created now it will convert to pdf format so for this uh, similarly uh, uh, we will search for convert file under the one drive business so here we will give the file name so here we will use the uh, the unique identifier of the file it is denoted that so uh, select the id from the create file sorry then 
here we can choose the target type as our target type is pdf so it is already it is showing us the pdf so next we will insert the another create file once the file is converted to pdf and we want to store it in that uh, document library so again we will insert the create file under the sharepoint location under the sharepoint connector give the site address and the folder path so the for here we will select the folder path so folder path is our files so in uh, under that file storage uh, yeah select the files here the um, pdf will be created and then file name so file name and the file content it should be the file content from the convert file convert file from the this uh, uh, from the previous action that convert file action and if you want to delete that as per this scenario first the file is created in the sharepoint document library then it will get the content and this action will create the file in the secondary storage in one drive then it will convert it into pdf then next it will once the file is converted to pdf it will create it again in the sharepoint document library uh, if you want to delete that excel file as it is converted to the pdf so we don't want to the duplicate for the another file so uh, if you want to delete this excel file so here we can insert a another action we can add an another action that is delete file under the sharepoint connector so here we will select as the file identifier from the trigger identifier uh, so it will uh, and this action will delete that a uh, file from the uh, sharepoint document library the excel file and if you want to delete that uh, secondary storage delete that file from the secondary storage so here again we will insert the another that uh, delete file action under the document uh, under the one drive so and here also we, we we have to give the file identifier so so here we will select the id from the create file now it's done uh, let's save it first and then we will test it if is there any error then it will say uh, so as a red red color uh, tag otherwise it will green yeah now it's showing the flow is ready to go and we recommend you to test it okay so that means there is no error let's test it first and test it manually and click on test then to see the it work now perform the starting action perform the starting action means start uh, uh, to when the file is created so let's uh, in upload a file excel file here so click on that upload option and the files suppose uh, i have selected a vehicle i have an excel file so click, select that and click on open so now the uh, file is uploaded here uh, let's go to that uh, power automate section and here we can see the yeah now it is showing as the uh, success uh, so let's see now the uh, yeah now all the actions are going uh, ran successfully and let's see our file is create uh, converted into pdf or not so let's yeah it's already converted into pdf let's refresh it now we can see uh, the excel file is got removed from this uh, document library and only the pdf and it will convert it to pdf and only the pdf is uh, there so this is how we can convert a excel file convert an excel file to pdf format so guys uh, if you like my tutorial please like share and subscribe to our channel youtube channel uh, that is ts info technologies and for more video tutorial on SharePoint, Power Apps, Power Automate, Power BI, Python, Machine Learning and many more, please subscribe our uh, YouTube channel and thank you for your time, like, share and subscribe. Thank you.